It's the Moving On Up edition. Arbitrage has moved to a bigger, better building and studio, and we will be back to regular weekend format next week while under construction. Today is February 24th, and you are listening to the Arbitrage Trade Weekend News. I'm your host, Darren Harper, bringing you three things you need to know for this weekend and an interview, which is spring cleaning and moving. Just let it go. Also, check out the winner and loser this week in the market. The 10-year fell to 4.25, and WTI crude fell as well to $76.57. Here's three things. One way to find out how off your programming is for AI, well, just put it out and let users find out. The latest of AI fails is Gemini, which is Google's picture AI, which is acting like a crazy revisionist activist on steroids. When as for pics of the founding fathers of our country, Gemini spat out diverse pics of a black man and a Native American. It showed black Vikings, female NHL hockey players, and even a woman pope. Maybe you shouldn't release things before you don't know how dangerous it may be. But we know there's profit to be had. AT&T wasn't the only thing to go down Thursday. Turns out there was also a cybersecurity issue with health payments that day too. Officials are not saying that the AT&T is a cyber attack. But an interesting number to consider is that 99.5% of cybercrime goes unprosecuted. There really is no deterrent. Cyber attacks are at an all-time high for the last two years. Maybe the government's little action on it needs to change. And here are the bigs for next week. Monday is the new home sales report. Tuesday is Core Durable Goods, U.S. Conference Board Consumer Confidence, Reserve Bank of New Zealand rate decisions. Wednesday, it's U.S. GDP and crude oil inventories. And Thursday, it's German CPI U.S. Core PCE, initial jobless claims, Chicago PMI, and China manufacturing PMI. Friday, South Korea celebrates a holiday, Eurozone CPI, S&P Global U.S. Manufacturing PMI, ISM Manufacturing PMI, and prices. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. Being a cowboy, I don't know anything different from when I was three or four years old. I did tough things. I thought everybody needed to do tough things. And if you didn't, I didn't have time for it. I had a very successful career at a very young age, and life was fast. I was preparing physically. I wasn't doing anything mentally on the inside. And then I got hurt. I wanted to be better as a person. And I really dug into mental health. I start my day with a 20-minute workout. I live life eight seconds at a time. Horses are so therapeutic. They know what you're feeling. When you're nervous, they're nervous. He won't say it back, but we're pals. I take a lot of responsibility in taking care of my kids, my family, and being there for them. You're going to have tough days. Everybody does. Find a place to stop and just breathe. Love your mind. Hey, Darren. Hey, Royce. Um, we, we've been moving, right? Man, have we been moving. <laughs> We're, we have a new office location. Yes. And basically... Um, and I I'm, have a new location. And you have a, and, so and you just in, moved. Yeah. Man, I don't want to move anymore. And, and, and it's spring. And people <laughs> yes. are cleaning up and yes. cleaning out stuff, uh, at least according to that, that groundhog, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> An early spring. Yep. So, like, um, so our... Uh, in the world, there are like hoarders and they're minimalists. I consider myself a minimalist only because it's like you can't take it with you, right? So typically, I give it about two years, and if I haven't used it or seen it in yes. two years, and I own it, I'm gonna probably gift it somewhere else. That casket is small, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can be like pharaohs. We we are yes. out there. Those days are over. <laughs> I'll say much. <laughs> like hey <laughs> yeah it's it's my back is feeling it but uh you know I, that's the thing is when i went through my boxes and stuff it was like there were many things i may regret yeah but probably not because it was just stuff i hadn't used, used in, in a year or two yeah yeah i have a two-year rule if, if i haven't used and typically it's hard to declutter if you basically don't have a, a system or something right, right. like so two years that that's my general rule and then i go okay so let's start in my closet let's Get, get rid of the clothes first, then go to the kitchen, then go to the garage, and basically pick a day or week or month to basically get it out, and then, okay. Yeah, don't wait, don't wait till you move. <laughs> yeah, don't wait till you move because it's like all this stuff winds up just finding a new home in another closet, and basically, like, 
Yeah, you just divide and conquer. Hey, I'm going to take care of this bedroom. I'll be minimalist, minimalist in this bedroom. Yes. Get rid of everything and then move on and just divide and conquer. It's just, so it's not this huge thing that's on your shoulders to, yeah, I'll get to that and go through it. And all these people, and not to discourage people, uh, are, are, you know, talk badly about storage uh, places that allow you mm. to store your mm -hmm. things. Um, I just can't see having a bill to basically hold my stuff in a space that... To have more stuff. To have more stuff. I mean, you, you collect, you collect, you collect. There's only so much you can collect. And, and I, I'm sure it's the same way. Those That stuff sits in there and they don't touch it for years. And Yeah. You know, you, what you accumulate is spiders and oh, yeah. stuff you don't need. <laughs> it's, it's a great system. It's yes. like... <laughs> Hey, the only thing now I'm uh, accumulating is like even even I had a vinyl collection. I moved it all to MP4 yep. to even get rid of that to make sure that basically I had a digital copy yep. to get rid of the yep. other one. And then I sold the vinyl and that, bingo, yeah, yeah. Well, I uh, I I have too many books. Yeah, and those are the worst to move. Oh, Especially yeah. Especially when you fill up a box with them and then you don't even think about it and you go to pick it up. and Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I did that about three or four years ago. Every book that I own, I have an audible collection yeah. and basically I cu accumulated right. as many credits as I right. could and then literally went down the line finding all of the audio versions. But a lot of people in their head, they think, man, this is going to be valuable someday. Most and, of the time, yeah. about 90% of the time, it's not. It might, it might, yeah, be, it might have a little like value. A collection but, of maybe a hundred bucks, but like, what is that in the grand scheme of yeah. things? Couple time is money. Yeah. Time is yes. money. Yes. Yes. So basically, you're trading time for money. So but why, why don't we trade things for money and, and declutter our lives? And that's invaluable. Yes. Right. <laughs> so if you want to read more about how to declutter or how to be more of a minimalist, go read our blog at arbitragetrade.com slash blog. Thank you, Darren, for being with us, and we will see you next time. Yeah, where's the Tylenol? During high school, I hung with the wrong crowd, and I never graduated. I helped Santiago in many different ways, like all fathers do, because he always wanted to go to college. I felt a little embarrassed to come back to school, but eventually, once I came here, I knew that it's for a bigger goal. He was very dedicated, hardworking. He connected with his teachers. He connected with other students. That was one of the key reasons why he was able to keep forging ahead. It was amazing to see him graduate. This was one thing that meant so much to him. And of course, it meant so much to us too. With the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed. That support is everything. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. This week's winner and loser in the stock markets. The loser is Rivian Automotive, or R-I-V-N. They're headquartered in California, and they design, develop, and manufacture and sell electric vehicles and accessories. The company offers five passenger pickup trucks, a seven passenger sports utility vehicle, and it provides Rivian commercial vehicle platform for electric delivery van with collaboration with Amazon.com, Inc. Starting the week at $16.20, but then the ER happened and the stock dropped all the way down to almost $10 Friday. Analysts were piling it on, giving it double downgrades as well. And the winner is IOVANCE Biotherapeutics, or IOVA. They're also headquartered in California, and they develop and commercialize cell therapies as novel cancer immunotherapy products. This was also a highlight of our Throwback Thursday. Go check it out as well. Our AI bot saw this one coming. It closed last Friday at $9.13. Tuesday, it opened at $11.65, which was already a big gain from when we identified it in October of 23. But after the FDA granted accelerated approval for its metastatic melanoma treatment, the race up was on. It hit as high as $16.92 Thursday, or an 85% increase from the end of last week. Visit arbitragetrade.com and learn about PIPS, our AI bot, who lets you stop watching and start living. Not financial advisors, we provide a service. Thank you for joining us today for another edition of Arbitrage Weekend News. Log into arbitragetrade.com to read our wide variety of blogs and educate yourself on trade assist and forex trading, or even how to make passive money with our trade assist affiliate marketer program. You can also get to know our cute little AI bot, PIPS. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. 
The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.